Hey everyone, I'm Paul. I'm the Education Coordinator at Film Streams in Omaha, Nebraska. In this video, we're gonna hang out and make some art. Okay, so we're gonna need some materials for these projects. If you picked up one of our Film Streams activity kits, you should be good to go. If you didn't pick up a kit, these are the materials that we're gonna be using today. You're going to need a few sheets of tissue paper and a green pipe cleaner for this project. We're going to also be using scissors, so if you don't feel super confident with scissors, make sure to ask an adult. Grab some sheets of tissue paper and layer them on top of each other. The first thing we're going to do is start to fold the tissue paper back and forth like this. Now we're going to take our pipe cleaner and attach it to the tissue paper. Fan out the tissue paper like this. The next step is to pull the sheets of tissue paper apart from each other. Make sure to be pretty gentle with this step because tissue paper can tear easily. After the tissue paper is all separated, just kind of adjust it as needed. I thought it would be cool to add a little leaf to my stem. These flowers are cool decorations or they're great gifts. I'm using mine as a bookmark. For this next activity, you're gonna need um, a couple of eggs. Now this can get a little messy, so make sure you're doing this with an adult. Gascarones are Mexican confetti eggs and these are really popular in the springtime, plus they're a ton of fun. My grandma showed me how to make these when I was little and I'm gonna show you now. Um, for this project, you're going to need eggs, glue stick, scrap paper or uh, construction paper, and some tissue paper. Let's do it. First thing we're going to do is take our egg and the thumbtack and poke a tiny hole in the top. Be very careful because eggs are fragile. It's best to work over a napkin or a bowl when you're doing this. The next step is to poke a bigger hole at the bottom of the egg. An easy way to make sure that the egg white and the yolk come out entirely is to blow on the top hole gently. Make sure you have your egg over a bowl or a cup. Next thing you're going to do is set these aside to dry. I ran mine under some water to get rid of the egg, um, but this might take a few hours. After your egg is dry, the next step is to cut up or tear up some tissue paper or construction paper. Then we're just going to fill the egg with our confetti. After your egg is filled with confetti, we're going to take a small piece of tissue paper and glue it to the top of the egg with a bigger hole. 
All right, all finished. Now that you have your cascarones all filled and ready to go, the next step is to crack them over each other's heads. Confetti is going to explode all over you and it's gonna be fun and a little bit messy. Just make sure that you're gentle when you're cracking them over friends' heads. Next, let's make some stained glass. For this one, you're going to need wax paper, tissue paper, construction paper, and a glue stick. This one's really easy and it's a good chance to get super, super creative. The first thing you're going to do is take a sheet of wax paper and glue down a border using construction paper. Now it's up to you. You can decorate your wax paper any way you like. I thought it'd be cool to add a pipe cleaner to the back of my stained glass so I can hang it from the window. These look best if you hang them on a window. That way the light shines through them and uh, creates this kind of glowing effect and uh, that's pretty cool. Origami is a Japanese art. This is all about holding paper to create shapes, like cranes, frogs, flowers, pretty much anything you can think of, really. We're going to learn how to make origami butterflies. Now, this took me a while to learn, actually, so if you need to pause the video or rewind it and watch it again, that's totally cool. Learn at your own pace. Grab the pattern sheets of origami paper for this project. All right, so next we're gonna make an origami butterfly. Take your square sheet of origami paper and fold it into a triangle like this. Then do it again. You've created an X with your fold. Now we're going to fold it into a smaller rectangle. Then do it again. Now you've created a plus sign and an X. I folded mine on the opposite side too, so it made my folds nice and crisp. Alright, this next step is a little tricky. What I did was I took the two corners and folded it in the middle and then brought the corners together. Make sure to be gentle. Do the same on the other side. When you're finished, you should have a triangle. The bottom will be open like this. Next, you're gonna take one of the flaps and fold it up to the tippy top of the triangle. Do the same on the other side. Kind of looks like a frog almost. Then take the tippy top of the triangle and fold it backwards. Be gentle. It'll overlap a bit on the top, which you want, and fold the tip over. and then fold the butterfly in half.
Then you spread the butterfly's wings a bit while pinching the top. This gives you the butterfly shape. All right, we made a ton of art. Thanks for hanging out with me and being creative. Making art is great, but make sure to get outside and enjoy that spring weather too if you can. Bye. Thank you.